Our 7 News medical expert, Dr. Cedric McFadden, is joining us today to talk a little bit about the coronavirus crisis and where we're at in terms of the peak. A lot of people talk about the peak of this mm -hmm. and when it will be and what it means. So let's talk about what actually a peak means. So to reach the peak in a pandemic curve, it means that the number of new cases begins to level off as opposed to continuing the sort of upward, rapid, sharp trajectory. It may not be a single day. It may not be a sharp increase in the curve if you look at it on paper. It may be sort of a bit of a bumpy road. and It may be a gradual process, mm -hmm. but it's a point at which you start seeing a leveling off of those newer cases. So is that a sign of encouraging news that we get to that peak so things will get better after that? A little bit of yes and no. Um, on one point, it's reassuring to see less cases, less people being affected, but also keeping in mind that the peak means we've reached our maximum point of utilization of our healthcare resources. It also means the highest rate of infections are in that present time, and it certainly could indicate a higher risk of contracting the virus itself. So does the peak mean that we are going back to normal? Not exactly. Okay. Not exactly. Um, you know, physical distancing is even more important during the peak period than ever. Uh, because you want to ensure that those number of cases continues to decline as you would expect it to. Uh, to, be perf to be perfectly realistic, this is not just a flipping the switch and it's all back to normal. Uh, this is a gradual returning to normal. Uh, and because we don't have a vaccine, we don't have a specific antiviral medication, there could be still some time before we return to some normalcy. Well, we've heard the president talking about wanting to see states kind of on a two-week trajectory downward yes. before they start loosening things up. Um, where are we? I mean, have we hit our peak? So this is a little confusing because the initial model said that South Carolina would reach a peak around April 24th. There were some other dates you may have heard, uh, April 30th or May 2nd. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a model that came out through the University of Washington's Institute of Health Evaluation and Metrics, and they said that our peak number of deaths occurred on April the 9th with 16 deaths we had in that one day. And our peak use of medical or health uh, resources was April 15th. Um, Dr. Bell this week with DHEC said, you know, we're still seeing multiplying numbers and they expect to see that through the beginning of May. So it's a little bit unclear about exactly when we're reaching it, but we're certainly approaching that period if we've not already passed it already. And so after the peak, what is that called? I mean, it, or what comes after it's, the peak? So the, 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 the thought behind after the peak is many people are still susceptible to the infection. Sure. It's, it's not over. It's not over until it's over. Um, even more than anything, testing becomes very important so we have a nice, uh, real clear indication of where we are with things and who's been affected, who needs to be uh, quarantined. And even then, we still have to be protective of our elderly and our nursing facilities. We still have to maintain social distancing, paying attention to the real basic things, the hygiene, keeping the hands from our faces. There still may be some time before we get to see a baseball game or a large concerts or festivals. We're still figuring this out you know, as we live it out in real time. But the, but the real lesson here is that even after the peak, we will see deaths. We will see people Correct. still get it. It's Correct. not going to just disappear. Correct. And we also cannot rule out a second peak. Uh, and many okay. of the experts mentioned that in the winter, we'll, we'll likely see a re eruption of this virus. Yeah probably about the same time that we see the flu showing up in the winter. So, oh again, a lot still to look out for as we move forward. Take it uh, one day at a time and a try time. to see what happens. All right, Dr. C, we'll see you with questions. Your questions that you want asked to, of Dr. C, you can go ahead on the Facebook page right now, ask those questions. We'll tackle them live at 5. You're watching Carolina's Family at 4. We're coming right back.